hello everyone today uh, we are going to solve one another problem of isometric projections so here the orthographic views of the object is given the front view and the top view is given so by using these two views we have to draw the isometric view of the object so let us starting with the or by finding the length width and height of the object so as we know that uh, we can uh, measure the length and height from the front view so this will be the length and this will be the height of the object and we will measure we can measure the length and width from the top view so this will be the length and this will be the width of the object so the length of the object is 20 plus 30 plus 20 it is 70 mm so length is 70 mm 20 30 20 20 and 30 and 20 so this is 20 30 20 so this will be the length height will be 20 plus 50 so this will be the height so 20 plus 50 is equal to 70 so height will be 70 and this will be the width of the object so 35 plus 35 so width will be also equal to 70 mm now first of all let us draw the isometric view of a cube having length width and height is equal to 70 mm so first of all we have to draw the isometric view of the cube which have a edge length is equal to 70 mm so first of all draw the cube like this so for that first of all draw the baseline draw two lines incline at an angle of 30 degree measure 70 mm 70 mm length width and height 70 mm then after complete the cube by the method that we have discussed in the session 1 now let us start uh, let us divide this object uh, into four parts so first part is this part the view of this part in the top view is over here so this is first part the second part is this this inclined part the view of this inclined part in the top view is over here this part which is seen as a square in the front view and in the top view it is a rectangle over here 50 by 35 and the front view it is a square of 50 by 50 and fourth part is a circle having diameter is equal to 35 mm and uh, the view of that circle in the top is a hidden line so first of all let us draw this part in the front view so from the front view and in this face draw this view as we can say that this part is projected in this face over here so measure 20 mm 20 mm over here this is 20 mm i have already marked the marked the points 20 mm 20 mm connect this line and you can see that if you observe this edge in the top view it is also projected in the back plane also so from this point measure 20 mm over here also project this edge in the back plane over here so uh, this is the front view of this line and this will be the in the top view top view will be like this front view will be like this so now draw these two parts 20 30 two lines so measure 20 mm like this over here measure 20 mm like this over here so draw this part now let us observe the top view of this part it is like this so 20 20 30 20 so we have to draw that part so for that let us measure 20 mm first of all on this edge 20 mm over here also like this over here measure 20 mm first of all to complete that part like 
draw a light line now extend these two corners of this part up to this line one two now it is generating a corner over here so draw a vertical line from this point it is generating a corner over here draw a horizontal line from this point and it is generating the corner over here draw a horizontal line from this point now complete this part so this will be the view of this part we have to draw this line up to 35 mm so measure 35 mm over here mark 35 mm 1 2 3 35 and extend this line up to 35 mm now we have to draw this part this part it is a square in the front view and in the top it is a rectangle of 35 by 50 so these phase of this part will be projected in this top face so draw this rectangle in the top face 35 by 50 so measure 35 and 50 so 50 35 35 50 and 35 so draw rectangle now we have to draw a cuboid having a length 50 width 50 sorry height 50 length 50 and width 35 so this is width 35 length 50 and now we have to measure the height 50 from each corner 1 2 3 so first of all project this edge 1 2 and 3 measure 50 mm distance on this line so this height is 50 mm as the total height is 70 mm and this height that we have measured 20 mm so the remaining length will be 50 mm this is so this length is 50 mm which is already projected over here now measure this 50 mm and mark the 50 mm on this line and on this line also complete the box like this so this will be the cuboid having length of 50 height 50 and width 35 length 50 height 50 width 35 now before complete complete this cuboid first of all draw this part and it is an inclined phase in the uh, sorry the front view of this part is an inclined phase so the top view of uh, this part is a square of 20 by 20 and the front view is an inclined line up to this corner so first of all draw the front view sorry top view having our front view is a sorry top view is a square of 20 by 20 so this is a square of 20 by 20 now but it is observed as a inclined face so draw inclined line connecting this point to this point this point to this point from this edge and a line parallel to this edge from this point also 20 mm over here over here and uh, project this edge up to this part 
and draw as we have drawn this line over here now draw this line parallel to this line of this point now complete the view so now complete this view like this so we have completed three parts one is this part over here second is this part over here and third is this part over here now the last and the remaining part is a circle so we have to draw the circle in this face and the diameter of the circle is 35 mm so now first of all we have to draw a cuboid having side length 35 mm so here sorry not uh, not cuboid we have to draw a rhombus having side length 35 mm in this face having same center of this rhombus that means uh, uh, the view of this square is a rhombus over here and uh, we have to draw one another rhombus having the same center or uh, having the same center that uh, with or the center of the rhombus that we are going to draw having side length 35 mm should be intersect at the center of this particular rhombus so now first of all draw the rhombus having side length 35 mm having same center to this rhombus so now if you want to draw the rhombus having side length 35 mm which have the center same over here and this is the center of this rhombus so the center of this rhombus and the center of the another rhombus that we are going to draw will be at this point so if you want to draw the rhombus of 35 mm first of all join the diagonal of this rhombus one two then after midpoint of this line midpoint of this line connect these two lines midpoint of this line and midpoint of this line connect these two lines now measure 35 mm diameter so if you want to measure 35 mm total distance measure 17.5 from here so this is 17.5 mm 17.5 over here so this is 17.5 17.5 also measure 17.5 distance over here also so oh, mark 17 point from this point center point over here on this line center point from over here on this line so this is these are the points 17.5 17.5 from 17.5 17.5 now draw lines parallel to this line from this point from this point draw the rhombus draw lines parallel to this line from this point at this point so we have completed the rhombus now apply the four center method to draw an ellipse in this part because this view of the circle in uh, the isometric view of the circle is an ellipse and if you want to draw the ellipse in this rhombus we have to follow the four center method so as we know that the first two center will be over here one two at the shorter diagonal of the rhombus first two centers so by using first two centers this center measure the midpoint of the opposite edge and give an arc like this and complete this figure one put your round around this corner measure the midpoint give an arc like this so we have drawn the half of the ellipse by using two centers now we are for going to follow the four center matter so first of all we have to define the another two centers so the second center second two centers will be like this 
connect this corner or this corner of the rhombus to the midpoint like this to the midpoint like this so this will be another two centers to draw the ellipse now put your rounder on this center measure the midpoint again so this will be the midpoint give an arc like this put your rounder over here measure the midpoint give an arc like this and complete the circle so by using the four center matter we have to draw the isometric view of the circle and the isometric view of the circle will be an ellipse and if you want to draw this ellipse you have to follow the four center matter so this will be the complete isometric view of these two views or by using these two views or the orthographic views of the object Thank you.